And what's up guys, welcome back, it's Mark again, and I wanted to bring you a video today about scammers on eBay, particularly regarding Magic the Gathering cards. And I wanted to point out some of these obvious red flags, so you guys don't waste your money or time on these sorts of listings. Well, right off the bat it looks a little off-colored, and as you can see, there is a little bit of light, little nicks and damage, and I, I would guess that he just added these. They look like they were recently added, it doesn't look like true aged wear on a beta card so those are both red flags right away um, but aside from the actual physical appearance of the card uh, there should be a few obvious things that stick out to everybody in this listing obviously if you're gonna buy anything over you know 50 bucks even I would recommend not buying it from someone with zero feedback as you can see this guy uh, I click on his name and I actually filmed this video December 13th so uh, he created the account just to try to sell this proxy Lotus that he somehow got. Uh, scrolling down, you know, nothing of the listing looks professional at all. Uh, he has this short little description and he says at the end, got at an estate sale. So he has this cute little story. Now, let me just tell you, authentic magic sellers don't feel the need to tell you a cute little story about where they got the card. So let's check out, this is an estate sale in the actual area that I'm from, and I attend estate sales myself, and let me tell you, nobody buys an item and sells it for 10% of the market price. Oh, look, okay, so they do have some vintage and modern. Oh, okay, so I guess estate sales do have magic cards. <laughs> Not. <laughs> so scrolling down, this is the kind of stuff you'll see at an estate sale. Um, there you go, you can run those in your ooze deck, uh, those snails. But nah, seriously guys, uh, the chance of finding magic cards at an estate sale is like one in a million. I mean, I've been to a lot of them and I've never even found something similar to magic or even, I don't know, like, it, it just doesn't make sense. I mean, okay, yes, you, there is a chance you can get one at an estate sale, but it's very unlikely. So anyway, I'm sure a lot of you are saying, oh, well, I... I doubt anybody would fall for that. Well, I got bad news for you. Somebody bought this listing within hours, and I feel bad for the guy. I mean, maybe maybe they were willing to risk $500 on the off chance that it was real. But that's just stupid, guys. I mean, if it's too good to be true, it probably is. Um, I passed this listing up even though I saw it right when it popped up, you know, and I didn't even have to think twice about that. Like I said, I have plenty of eBay experience to know better than this. Now moving on, PewDiePie just reached 50 million subscribers on YouTube and YouTube gave him this Ruby play button. Well, in the video that he posted late at night, he said that he was going to actually list it on eBay. So that triggered this whole frenzy of tons of fake listings. And most of them are, as you can see in the description here, this is only a picture. So tons of people posted all these fake listings and a lot of them including this one received bids and now I'm actually even going to show you uh, there's a listing that got over 50k British dollars and yeah that's over 60k US it got 18 bids from many different people I don't know if these are all scam accounts some of these the high dollar bids are from hundreds of feedback accounts so I just don't understand guys someone someone explained to me why they would uh, bid on this you know maybe they got a refund once they realized it was just a picture I'm not sure but stay safe out there guys don't fall for stupid crap like this and have a nice day happy new year